guys and welcome back to my channel today i have something special here for us today we are going to be unboxing and doing the first impressions of the new apple iphone 12 pro max and this one is in the specific pacific blue color so if you would like to see what the new iphone 12 pro max looks like and how it feels to touch then continue to stay with us Hi guys hope everyone's keeping well if you're in the uk we are currently going through lockdown 2.0 but we we move today i'm going to be unboxing the new iphone 12 pro max along with the iphone 12 pro max silicon case and it's the magsafe version so let's quickly get into this unboxing Just to let you know which model this is, this is the iPhone 12 11 Pro Max and it is in the colour Pacific Blue and it is 256 gigabytes. Okay, so in the box there should be the phone, the USB Type-C to lightning cable, power adapter and headphones are now sold separately. So that makes sense because as you can see, the box is a lot thinner than the usual iPhone boxes. So Apple have decided that everyone's already got the power bricks already at home. So there's no point in including yet another one. But obviously, if you did not have one at home, there is the option to buy it at an additional cost directly from Apple. Okay, with that being said, let's get into it. Gosh, it's been ages since I've opened a new phone, so this is all very exciting. I've got to say, it is sort of weighty, I'm not going to lie, compared to the 11 Pro Max. Okay, so let's get it going. Ah. Now that feels good. That feels so good. Okay, so what's inside the box? Let's have a look. first of all this is really nice really nicely done it's like embellished on the top it's really nice your usual cut out for camera lens usual box and then oh my god first look oh my god first look oh my god this pacific blue color is amazing wow 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 can you see that Gorgeous. I don't even want to touch it because I know my handprints are going to make a mess. So the phone's there. That's new for Apple because it used to be clear, didn't it? So that's white. Let me pop the phone down for just a second. We'll quickly go through what's the rest. What's... So here we have the USB-C Type-C to lightning cable adapter. Nothing special there. Obviously no power brick. Then we have the design by Apple in California, and I'm expecting, okay, it's the, that little pokey thing that you use to get your SIM card out. Then your usual literature, no one reads, but guess what we do have? Really large Apple sticker, which is gorgeous, no doubt. Okay, I collect these, so we're very happy with that. Okay. In so that we can get to the real stuff okay so now here is the phone oh gosh okay so 
I, okay, on this bit of paper, so it's just got, that's when you can silence your phone, volume up, volume down, and the on and off button, just by looking at the sides. That looks new, I don't remember seeing this on my 11 Pro Max, that looks new. Uh, looks really, really good. Fingerprints, oh my God, I'm not sure if you can see it. Fingerprints are really gonna be quite heavy on this model. So I would suggest everyone just getting the case, really. Um, here we go. Wow, it looks gorgeous. Look at that. Can you see how beautiful this is? This is really very, very nice. Look at that. Look at the back. It's got the LiDAR scanner on this version. So let's have a look. This looks amazing. Immediately, I can see a couple of differences to the 11 Pro Max. We've got these two, one, two, three cameras here. I believe it's got a stabilization feature. That's what they're there for. And then look at the bottom. So you've got your speakers here. And yeah, it's a beautiful device. I'm not gonna lie but I know what I'm like and I know the fingerprints will annoy the hell out of me you know that's where you would pop your sim card and yeah it all looks very very nice from the outside and in comparison to my 11 Pro Max I would say there isn't that much difference um, would I upgrade if I had an 11 Pro Max just off of design? No, um, it looks exactly like the 11 Pro Max. I mean, I know it's slightly bigger, but just off of design, I would not upgrade if I had the 11 Pro Max, I wouldn't. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly pop it on and I'll be back shortly, bear with me. It's powering on. Exciting. So that's taking a little while. Hello Apple. Swipe to open. English. I'm in the United Kingdom. So in an attempt to not bore you all, I have quickly sped up this section of the video. I'm literally going through the basic startup, just following the on-screen instructions. As you can probably tell, I've not put a SIM card in at the moment and I haven't restored from iCloud. I've just set this up as a brand new phone without the SIM card in at the moment. I was quickly just trying to get to the camera as that's the biggest change for me um, as I've already got the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So... Here you will see that I am literally just flicking through, still admiring its beauty. And yeah, I'm on the camera setting. I quickly flick through that and have a look and see if the quality is any different to what I already have. Um, let's have a quick look at this. So this is the new quick take video. Tap and hold the shutter to record a quick video. Drag the shutter to left to the left for burst. So continue. Okay. And then there's portrait mode. Create a portrait snap. Obviously, portrait is one of my favorites. And there we have it. So that is a quick unboxing. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details and anything else what's new etc i mean i can do another more in-depth video if you would like please leave a message in the in the box below if you would like to see a more in-depth video on the features but that is your quick unboxing and start up of the new iphone 11 pro max in the color specific blue
knock yourself out, guys. It is really nice. Okay. And just before I quickly move on, uh, the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 Pro Max will cost you £1,099 at a starting rate with 128 GB. And the size of the screen is 6.7 inches. iPhone 12 Pro Max silicon case, and it's the MagSafe, which is new for iPhone 12. Um, really excited to see this. I haven't actually got the MagSafe charger. I have ordered it. It is on the way, so I will do a follow-up video on the new MagSafe device. Um, okay, so this is the iPhone 12. So how really annoying. My phone stopped recording as I was unboxing this item, which is really, really super annoying. Um, yeah, storage space issues on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Needless to say, I shall check where this cut off, but just have a quick look in case this didn't show what it says there. Apple says iPhone designed by California, assembled in China, is what it says there. And there it is. It's, it feels just like a plastic ring around the phone. It's got really nice cutout for the camera. The logos are embossed on the front. Then you have the buttons in this darker blue color. It's really, really nice, nice cutouts. And then at the bottom, this bit is now completely closed off. So your cam, your, um, your speakers are now completely covered and then just an entrance for your charging cable. So without further ado, let's put it on the phone and see if it recognizes it. So there it is. So automatically the phone has recognized that the MagSafe case is on it. That's truly amazing. And I don't actually have the MagSafe charger with me at the minute. Um, they were completely out of stock. So as soon as that arrives, I will show you what that looks like. But this is what the phone looks like in its brand new luxury case. And I would say to you all, if you are going to get the new iPhone 12 Max, Pro Max, I would definitely consider the specific new version. It's truly, truly lovely. So this is Apple's iPhone 12 Pro Max silicon case with MagSafe in the color Deep Navy. And this retails at £49. First impression, this phone looks very similar to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you already have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, would I say it's worth it to update to the 12 Pro Max? I would probably say no, save your money because they're more or less identical. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is slightly bigger. Thank you guys for joining me on yet another video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you all again in my next video.